Hey there, this is MathCamp321 presenting for you the solution to question number 13 from the Park Algebra 2 practice test from school year 2014-2015. This question has us working with nested radicals, and that is radicals under other radicals. This can be kind of intimidating. So before we actually look at the specific question, I have a couple of warm-up exercises that I'd like to do which will prep us for the problem. And the first is number one, which says the square root of a. And what I'd like to do here is I'd like to uh, transition this to fractional exponents. So this would end up being a to the one-half power. Remember that this is really a to the first, and when you're taking a square root, this is really a two. So your fractional exponent is going to be this number over this number. Now in number two, the same sort of thing can be applied even if your radicand is not a single thing, but it is a chunk. So instead of saying a to the one-half, now I'm going to say m plus 4 to the two-thirds. And then our third property that I'd like to go over is that when you're raising something to a power to a new power, you multiply the powers together. So this would be c to the 6 times 5, or c to the 30th power. So now we can go and actually take a look at number 13 which has this nested radical on the left-hand side and has something kind of simplistic on the right-hand side. Now what I notice is that there's this x plus 1 chunk present in both sides. So if I can manipulate the left-hand side so that it looks like the right-hand side, then I'll be able to do a mapping and figure out what a is mapped up with. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to realize that in, uh, on the left-hand side, what I'm dealing with is a large square root. That big radical on the outside is square root. And square root from our first warm-up really means raising to the one-half power. So let's think about it that way. I've got the cube root of this chunk, x plus 1 to the fifth. And then I'm taking the square root of that. But taking the square root is like raising to the one-half power. Now I'm going to focus my attention on the inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite the outside as it is and focus all my attention to the inside. And the inside is the cube root of a chunk to the fifth. Well this can be written as the chunk to the five-thirds power. And now if I use property number three, raising a power to a new power and you multiply, I can use that same technique here. So I can say x plus one and if I multiply 5 thirds times 1 half, I end up getting 5 6. So this is the left hand side after a few manipulations. Now the right hand side comes from up here, and this just says x plus 1 to the a. So both the left and the right hand side look almost equivalent at this point, except over here the exponent is 5 6, and over here the exponent is a. So in order for these two expressions to be equal, what do you think a needs to be? Well, if you said that a needs to be 5 6, then you're correct. If a is 5 6, then the two sides will look exactly the same. So the answer is 5 6, which is answer choice B.